Hello everyone, this is Sani and today I'm going to start a brand new tutorial series in which I'm going to teach you guys that how to develop a status updating application with the help of Firebase Cloud Firestore. And at the same time, I'm going to depict the concept of Recycler View with the help of Firebase UI, Firebase UI Firestore dependency. Okay. But before starting, let me take you through the different videos that I'm going to develop during this tutorial series. In very first, I'm going to add the dependency and going to set up the project. And at the same time, I'm going to set up the kipti underscore main dot XML file in which I'm going to have two added text, one for the username, other for the status and a button that will store our statuses into Firestore and of course, our cycler view at the end. Of the first video, I'm going to connect XML views with the Java views, and in the last step of the first video, I'm going to store the statuses to the Firebase Cloud Firestore. In the second video, I'm going to create a template XML file for the Recycler view, in which we are going to paste our data from the adapter class. In this video, I'm just going to create text view with for the username and text view for the user statuses. In the third video, I'm going to create a model class. This video will be very important video for you guys because in this video, I'm going to explain the concept of model class and how to create a model class for the Firebase adapter class. And in this video, I will teach you guys that what do we need for it and how to create variables in this Java class so that these variables can fetch values from the Cloud Firestore. So this would be the one of the most important video of this tutorial series. In the next video, I'm going to add adapter and view holder classes for the recycler view. In the final video, I'm going to create object for the adapter class in the main activity dot Java class. Then I will set up the adapter with the recycler view and at the end, I will run the project on the emulator. So that's it for the introductory video. Let me get back into Android Studio and see you guys in the next video.